All right, so we gotta go check what's happening here with this telephone line. I think we just gotta head north. Two forks right there. Yeah, we gotta move back up to that cave we were at, the creepy cave we were at yesterday, and then up all the way north. You see where it says their telephone line. I think we just have to go kind of follow that and see what's happening with it. So, let's get going. Let's see what's going on. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Alright, so just had to check there if she's got any more info from her tower. But I guess she can't really see uh, she can't see the wires from there. So we gotta we gotta go hike out. Hike out and find this. Let's see, make sure we're uh, actually pointed north. Yeah we are. Okay. So we're going down towards that cave uh, from yesterday. I don't I don't know how this is gonna actually go here. Don't know if they're gonna have more you know creepy encounters there or if it's actually just gonna be normal. We'll see. We shall see. Alright, so we've made it back towards the cave here. Uh, this is where we were yesterday. There is some uh, fog in the area too. Cold morning fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? She wants to know more about what we did back in Boulder. Uh, I don't know if we should talk about Julia, I guess. We could. I Let's just try it. spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well. But you're taking a little break. Or. We're. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Wait, what? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. She's talking to someone else. I don't think she realizes that I can still hear. Alright, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, hmm. uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? That sorry, was interesting. I, I don't mean to pry. That would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Uh, we'll just say everything's fine for now. Everything's fine, just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some yeah. fresh air. A little change. Yeah. Alright, well, we can just leave it at that. Thanks. So that was that was very interesting right there. That's the first time that something like that has happened when we're talking to Delilah. She's basically taking a call from someone else. Sounds like she was talking about Henry here. But we can't really confirm that at the moment. But she did it did kind of seem like she was talking about Henry. Didn't know that he was still listening. It looks really nice this morning. All the fog it looks it looks pretty awesome, but let's keep going. We got a little bit more to go. I'm assuming we're still headed north. Uh, we just passed through the cave. Nothing too creepy there, and we're actually yeah we're on the way to that telephone line. So let's keep let's keep heading that way. All right, so we actually yeah here's the line. I'm guessing this is the telephone line that we're looking for right in front of us. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. We're getting pretty close to our tower. I don't know if we can actually go over there. Never been to this part of the map at all, so I don't know if we can go all the way to uh, to her uh, tower. But we'll keep following this. Uh, let her know if there is anything wrong with it. So far, it's you know, so far so good. It's looking pretty good. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires. What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just 
seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. So we're still following this. I just saw a cash box. I want to go check that out. All right, let's see what we got in here. And look at this freaking view from over here, man. It's looking all the way back at where uh, our tower is. I think I can actually see it right there. Yeah, yeah, that's our tower. So we're pretty much in between my tower and the Lilas tower. Let's see what we got in here. See what we got. Hopefully something good, something useful. So we have another note in here as well. Nothing too good by the looks of it. We got a board. Don't know what we need that for. Uh, can we keep it? We can't keep it. Get rid of it. Uh, what is this? Six feet down under. I don't know what that is. Just a book. Nice, nice. Uh, some pine cones. All right, nothing too crazy. We're gonna get that stuff back in there. Can he not throw it in there? Come on, come on, Henry. Yeah, there you go. I mean, we're not supposed to be uh, trashing this place right here. I don't know if that board is actually gonna get in, but we'll update the map and then we'll get moving as well. Keep following these uh, telephone poles. Another note to Dave here. Hey yo, I got your note about needing to talk. And sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know? Amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it? Later. Ron. Another note, man. Alright, so we're just gonna keep this note. We can actually keep them. So now if I go, if I hit tab, uh, we got all the notes we found so far in the game. Close that. Oh man, the book's out again. Get back in there. All right, let's continue moving. I got to get back on track with the telephone pole and continue following it. I hope I kind of made the right move there by staying quiet when uh, Delilah was talking to someone else. I didn't really, you know, make it seem like I heard what she said. Wow, we got more beer cans here? What? Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Might be the same kids. Uh. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know if it's going to be the same uh, people, you know. It's, just, it's the same beer can, but does that mean it's the same person that was at the lake? The two same girls there? I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, there is signs. We got more beer cans next to where the wire is actually down. And it says go to hell on that. Not cool. It's a lot of beer cans actually, like there is one still down there too. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. Yeah. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. 
Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Wow. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Alright, we gotta find these teens. We got a mission here. We got a mission, we gotta find them. I thought I just saw smoke there. I don't know what that was. But we got a mission right now. They've cut down the wire causing all kinds of problems and we just can't be having that first I think now I'm actually thinking they're the ones that went into my tower and you know busted it and destroyed everything yesterday busted the window and now they're causing more trouble around here so we really gotta find them the thing is we could go back to the tower straight south back to two forks or we could take this route up here that they might have taken yeah so we have it marked now where where, where uh, the wire has been cut we could either head west which I might do or head back the same way we took up here I'm just gonna follow these beer cans. So we've gone not the same way we came, but down here from the from the telephone line. And more beer cans, so we're definitely on their trail still. They have to be up here, up ahead somewhere. Again, more beer cans. It's amazing how much they drink. <laughs> I mean this is pretty crazy. Still more and more of them. So they definitely went this way. I think we're headed uh, west at the moment. Yeah, we're headed west, so... They didn't go back south. They cut that wire and went west. Hmm. Gotta be down here somewhere. So we got Jonesy Lake. Uh, which is where they were yesterday, so I don't know if they would actually go back that way. Or we got Supply Drop and Delilah's Lookout as well that way. I think what we'll do is end up heading heading towards the Supply Drop first. I don't think they went back to Jonesy Lake. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. We'll see if there's any, <laughs> any beer cans to let us know here. Is there any? Any this way? Uh, not seeing any right now. What is that? Oh, hold on. What is this? I haven't seen that before. Upside down chair or some. What is that? A backpack? Oh, okay, backpack. I was like, <laughs> what is hanging on the tree? Can you not get over this? Okay, there we go. So actually, they might have gone back to the lake. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens. No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Alright, alright. So we can do some looting here. Brian Goodwin's backpack. Okay. You forgot this, Brian. A nice camera. Well, I am flush with ropes now. <laughs> that pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Nice. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just 
haven't heard that name in a few years. So she knows him. Uh, wonder who this guy is. Lookout? He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Hmm. Could I handle your charms? I think I'm gonna go with that. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try Will not do. to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? We'll do, we'll do. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep going. I'm not actually gonna go towards Jonesy Lake, and the reason is, that wasn't that teen's backpack. It seemed like that backpack belonged to someone else. So instead of heading back towards the lake, Jonesy Lake down here, I think we'll head towards the supply drop up north and check that out. See if they went that way. What do we got? Oh, I can actually use the camera too. I, it's telling me, uh, see to use disposable camera. Let's try it. Nice, nice. Took a picture right there. Beautiful picture. Can we actually open this? I'm not sure if we can. We can't talk to her about it. Okay, we can actually open it. Nice. Alright, sweet. Let's see what's in here. Uh, there isn't really anything in here. Rip. So definitely not worth it coming up here. Nothing in the supply box. And we didn't find any sign of the teens. So... Let's go back. Maybe I'll head up towards uh, Delilah's tower. I don't know if we actually can do that. Let's go try it. Can we Can we go to Delilah's tower and see what she's up to? I wonder if we can. Don't know if it lets you go that far. Hmm. I guess not. I guess we can't go that far. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Wow, so we can't actually get across to, uh, to her tower at the moment. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado! I gotta get out of here! This a is amazing. tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in! Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado! He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility? There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years? You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life? Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, wow. Hank. No dice. Man. Can't even get to her tower. What is this? Definitely disappointed with this side. Uh, so nothing in the box that we checked and no sign of the teens. And we can't even go to uh, Delilah's Tower. So back to uh, Jonesy Lake route. Let's go back. One of these again. So we gotta use the rope to, uh, to get down. We're headed back. We're still on the search for those teens. Another cash box we can check there too. There is another one we gotta attach to get down. What is that? Is that actually what I think it is? Hold on. Uh, I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. Interesting. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. 
It's it's gotta it looks be like them. It's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's Keep gotta be them. That smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Man, these teens causing all kinds of trouble. <laughs>